Now recently, Star Wars Battlefront 2, the EA edition on Steam has had an absolutely no! mental sale. And if you did not get this, I bought it on this sale. If you did not buy this, you have thoroughly missed out, honestly, because the capabilities of this game for the modding purposes alone, let alone the amazing multiplayer, and it still has a lot of people playing it, so you can find public servers pretty much whenever you want. So I'm going to be showing you today the easiest way to mod this game in 2024. Honestly, this could not be easier. All you need is two links. These two links will be down in the description down below. You need one link for the Frosty Mod Manager and one link for the Nexus mods where you can find every single Star Wars Battlefront 2 mod on store. Honestly, this is the easiest way. I'm not a modder myself, but the fact that I've managed to do this with ease means that anybody can do this. I'm not going to bore you any more with these details or anything, so we're going to go straight to my desktop, look at that lovely little Camino background, and I'm going to get up the first mod today, which is the Frosty Tool Manager. So this is the patch notes for the latest model of the Frosty Tool Suite. So you just scroll down to here and click on frostymodmanager.zip. Install that and then we'll wait for this just to download. Now that is done, you want to open the file location, go onto your desktop and make a new folder on here and just call it Star Wars. I don't know, call it anything you want. So you want to then open this like that and make sure it's open on here. Open your downloads folder just like this on screen and you can see Frosty Mod Manager. So what we want to do is extract files and then we want to find this thing right here so we can just copy that and go into this area. There you go, so it just shows the file location. Click OK and it will just then extract the files to this. So we can now delete that and we have this open right here so we can now open all of these areas and you want to keep this open just for a while so we can then open the frosty mod manager itself like this it is the application as you can see just on here and you will then find this screen on here i have had this before so i now have the star wars battlefront 2 link on here so you can either click select or new just to find the actual file location path as you can see that is where it is installed on my computer if it's already on there highlight it and click select and now it will just load everything onto here it might take about five to ten minutes just let it do its thing and it will then open up the next screen that i'll show you in a second okay finally after about 10 minutes or so of waiting this is what comes up the frosty mod manager 1.0.6.3 in star wars battlefront 2 so this is completely new so what you now need to do the first thing you need to do is where it says pack here and there is a default section you there's only one actual section in the drop down menu so you want to click on the little plus icon and create a new pack just call it mods so we click on add and then now you can see it is defaulted to mods. So every time you open this, make sure it's open on mods. So we can now go to the second link in the description, which is this one right here. It is the Nexus mods in Star Wars Battlefront 2. So every single Star Wars Battlefront 2 mod on here is going to be in here. So literally you could get Darth Vader with a blue lightsaber. I mean, that's coming through when? Today? Yeah, that literally came through today. For the sake of this video, I'm going to do popular all time. I've already got one in mind I'm going to do because I've always wanted to use her. It is Ahsoka Tano because I've wanted to use Ahsoka for a while. I know she's in here somewhere. I completely missed it. It's right at the top there. There we go. A really, really good looking Ahsoka Tano. Looks absolutely amazing. So what we're going to do is we're going to go on to the files section right here. All you need to do is you can just read the description on here. It gives you some information about the different mods. It is always best just to read all of these. I would recommend reading everything in here. It just gives you all the good information to do with it. But I've already used this before. So we're going to click on files and we don't want to do the mod manager download. We want to do the manual download. But before this, you got to create an account. And it's absolutely free. It takes you about a minute to do. It's absolutely fine. So once you've created your account, it's so simple to do. Click on manual download. You'll then see here, you can do the free or the premium download. So we just click on free because we don't want to spend any money. It's not that big. It's 141 megabytes. So we click on the slow download. And once that countdown is finished, you will then see it comes up in the top right hand corner. We're going to wait for that just to download. It'll take me about sort of a minute or so. Okay, we're now closing in on the completed download. There we go. So we just need to show in folder like that. And then just make sure that it is dragged away on the download screen elsewhere. So we now need to open this again and simply just click add mods. Obviously, again, make sure it's under the mods pack just like that. Click on add mods 
and now find where you just downloaded your Ahsoka mod. Click on open and it will just then install the mod. Give it a second and there you go. Everything pops up. What we now need to do is click on applied mods up here and just highlight all of these like so. You hold down shift or control and click on all of them. Click apply mods and they all come across in that right hand side. So everything ticked here will load up when you launch the game. So if I untick all of these bar one, only this one will load up with the game. So it's very simple. So now we need to open the actual game itself. So rather than clicking on Steam like down here and click and play, we want to minimize that, keep this page open and then just go to launch at the top here. So we click launch and it will just launch the game from here. Obviously we do all this, that is absolutely fine. So we click on OK and then it will tell you one of these weird things like that and you click on OK, absolutely fine because we know that they can trust this because thousands of people have used this mod so it's absolutely fine. So we now need to wait for it to apply the mods. Again, this will take another probably 10 to 15 minutes, maybe not that long, maybe around sort of the 10 minute mark. So finally, a few minutes later, you will see this message every time you want to open the game. It's basically just saying that the game is opening through a third party mod, which is absolutely fine. So you click on continue and it will now open the game through Steam. And there we go. It is now opening and we're going to just get everything ready just to open. It might take a couple of minutes again because it's loading new mods through. It won't be this long every single time you open it. Okay, so we're now going to go in and I believe that should be everything. I don't know why it starts me offline every single time. So we can go into collection and we can see that Ray has changed to Ahsoka Tano. Look at that. How sick is that? She looks awesome. So looking on this right here, as you can see, this is Ahsoka right here. There is actually two different appearances. There is the Jedi version. And if you go to this other version, the A Ach 2, whatever that means, you click on that and it is Ahsoka as a Padawan. Different kind of lightsaber. I'm here. Did you miss me? Okay, so here is Ahsoka Tano, ready to go. She actually has her own voice lines as well, which I think is very cool. I'm not very good on keyboard and mouse, so I won't play too much, but this is just to showcase her in action, and you can use her in online multiplayer as well. Oh, here we go. Nah, I'm dead. I couldn't kill Kylo Ren. The AI heroes are so annoying, I swear. But anyway, that'll wrap it up for today's video. If you did enjoy, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye.